Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Wednesday the 20th of March. The local media headlines today. It looks like there's going to be a shake-up in the way that councillors get to scrutinise the executive at Cornwall Council. At the moment, the chairs of the various scrutiny committees tend to come from the political leadership of the council. But in future, either the chair or more likely the vice chair will come from the opposition. This was one of the key recommendations to emerge from a cross-party working group set up to investigate why the scrutiny process commands so little confidence. There's still a question over when the new approach will start. The smart money says not till after the next council elections. And it's a big day today for the proposed redevelopment of Truro's Pidar area. Will County Hall continue to chase its losses? Or is it time to think of something else to spend the money on? The BBC was among the media to report the rescue of a sailor 20 miles off the Cornish coast. A yachtsman got into difficulties when the rigging on his vessel developed problems, leaving him unable to control the craft. He was rescued by the Senan Cove lifeboat. Pirate FM had more to say about the cost of crossing the River Tamar. The Falmouth packet looked forward to a community spring clean. The Cornish Times reported the success of a local chef on a TV cooking show. The Cornish and Devon Post had a list of planning applications. And finally, alleluia, Cornwall Live has more news about a woman who's been photographed. Possibly. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.